Module 5.2 Derivatives of Exponential and Logarithmic Functions Objective 1. Find the derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions. Objective 2. Using the derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions to solve real-world problems. And Objective 3. To find the second derivative of exponential and logarithmic functions. Objective 1. Find the derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions. Here, the derivative of e to the x is equal to e to the x. Very simple formula. Our second derivative that we're going to be using in this section is the derivative of the natural log of x is equal to 1 over x. Another very simple function. So what we're going to be doing is finding the derivatives of these. Example 1. Given f of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 3x to the negative 7x power. Let's find the derivative. That would be equal to 4x to the third using the power rule minus 3e to the negative 7x. Now we've got to watch it because this is a composition of functions and we have to find the derivative of the inside. So we're going to multiply it times negative 7. And so that'll give us 4x to the third plus 21e to the negative 7x. And we have found the derivative. In example 2, we're given that f of x is equal to e to the negative 7x over x to the fourth. Let us find the derivative of f of x. Now, we need to remember that this is a rational function, so we've got u prime v minus uv prime all over v squared. And we're going to let this be equal to u, and this is going to be equal to v. So our derivative is going to be equal to the derivative of, of the top one, which is going to be e to the negative 7x times the inside, which is negative 7, times v, which is x to the fourth, minus u, which is e to the negative 7x, times the derivative of the bottom, which is 4x cubed, all over v squared, which is x to the fourth quantity squared. Negative 7x to the fourth e to the negative 7x minus 4x cubed times e to the negative 7x over x to the eighth, which will be equal to and we can take out e to the negative 7x and an x cubed out of both of these. So we're going to factor. So we're going to get x cubed times e to the negative 7x out. And that'll leave us with minus 7x minus 4 all over x to the 8th. And notice that we can cancel three of these 8x's, which will give us 5. And so the, our final answer will be e to the negative 7x times negative 7x minus 4 over x to the fifth. And we have now found the derivative. In example 3, we're dealing with a little bit of exponential, and we've got the natural log in here. And once again, we're dealing with composition of functions with the 4. So, the derivative of this would be f of x is equal to 4 times the whole thing, x to the 4th minus 3e to the x minus the natural log of 2x to the 3rd power times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of the inside would be 4x to the third minus 3e to the x, so that one stayed the same, minus 1 over 2x, using the natural log, and then we got to multiply it times the derivative of the inside, so times 2. And let's clean it up a little bit, so that would give me 4 times x to the 4th minus 
3e to the x minus the natural log of 2x to the third power times 4x cubed minus 3e to the x and then the twos will cancel which will give us minus 1 over x in example 4 we need to find f prime of x and once again we're going to be using the quotient rule it would be u prime so the derivative of the top would be 6x squared minus e to the 2x times 2 times v which would be 2x plus 3 minus u which is 2x cubed minus e to the 2x times the derivative of the bottom which is 2 all over 2x plus 3 quantity squared and this would be equal to just to clean it up a little bit is 6x squared minus e to the 2x so it would be 2e to the 2x times 2x plus 3 minus 2 times 2x cubed minus e to the 2x all over 2x plus 3 quantity squared. Objective 2. Use the derivatives of exponential functions to solve real world applications. Example 1. Let f of x is equal to x cubed minus 3 natural log of x. Find the slope of the tangent line at x equal 4. Well, if we're going to find the slope of the tangent line, then we have to take the derivative of the function because that is the formula. So that will give us 3x squared minus 3 times 1 over x, which will be equal to 3x squared minus 3 over x. So there's the derivative. Now we need to find the, the slope of the tangent line at x equal 4, so that would be we need to find f prime of 4, which would be 3 times 4 quantity squared minus 3 over 4. So that would be equal to 3 times 16 minus 3 quarters. And so that would be equal to 48 minus 3 quarters, which would be equal to 47 and 1 quarter. For algebra's sake, let's go ahead and write this as 189 over 4. So for part B, we need to write the equation of the tangent line at x equal 4. So that would be y is equal to mx plus b. And obviously we have our m, which is 189 over 4. So we have y is equal to 189 over 4x plus b. We have an x value, which is x equal 4. So let's plug 4 into the function here so that we can get our y value at this particular point. So if we put 4 in, that would be 4 cubed minus 3 times the natural log of 4. And we've got 64 minus 3 ln 4, or the natural log of 4. And we're going to get just about, it's 59.8, so let's call it 60. So we're going to round up just to make this problem where we can not deal with monster numbers. So if we've got 60 here, so 60 is my y value, is equal to 189 over 4, and we have 4 for the x value, plus b. So that would be 60 is equal to, the 4's will cancel, which will give me 189 plus b. We're going to subtract 189 from both sides. So b would be equal to negative 129. So our equation of our tangent line is 189 over 4x minus 129. And so this is the approximate equation of the tangent line at x equal 4. Example 2. Given that the population of termites in hundreds in a house is modeled by f of t is equal to 90 divided by 1 plus 5 e to the negative 0.03 t. 
where t is the number of days since July 1st. What is the rate of growth on July 18th? Well, first I'm going to do is I'm going to take the function, I'm going to rewrite it so I can use the chain rule. So that would be 90 times 1 plus 5e to the negative 0 0.03t to the negative first power. And now I need to find the derivative. So using the chain rule, that will give me negative 90 times the inside intact. negative second power times the derivative of the inside. The 1 is going to go away and I will be left with 5e to the negative 0 0.03t times the derivative of the inside of that which would be times negative 0 0.03. Okay, I'm going to put together the negative 90 and the 5 and the negative 0 0.03 and that's going to give me multiplied together be 13.5 times 1 plus 5e to the negative 0 0.03t quantity to the negative second power times e to the negative 0 0.03t okay now clean it up a little more so I'm going to call it 13.5e to the negative 0 0.03t over 1 plus 5e to the negative 0 0.03t quantity squared since I moved it down. Now our next job is we need to find the value after 17 days because it says the number of days since July 1st so July 18th would be day 17. So that would be equal to 13.5 e to the negative 0 0.03 times 17 over 1 plus 5e to the negative 0 0.03 times 17 squared. And now it's time to break out our handy calculator. And my answer for this is I'm going to end up with Point five. And given that the population of termites, F of T, is represented in hundreds, then 0.5 represents 50 termites on July 18th. Objective 3. Find the second derivative of exponential and logarithmic functions. Example 1, we're given F of X is equal to X to the negative third E to the 7X. We need to find the double derivative. Our first derivative, we're going to have to use the product rule. All right, so let's start it off. And this one's going to be u, and this one's going to be v. So we've got u, which is x to the negative 3 times the derivative of v, which is e to the 7x times 7 plus. We've got u prime, which is negative 3x to the negative 4 times e to the 7x. Clean this one up. That'll give us 7x to the negative third e to the 7x plus negative 3x to the negative 4 e to the 7x. Okay. Now that we've got that done, it's time for us to do the double derivative. And the double derivative, we're going to be using the product rule twice. So let's start off with u, which is 7x to the negative third times the derivative of the second one, which is e to the 7x times 7 plus negative 21x to the negative fourth times e to the 7x. And now let's go after the second one. So we've got the first one, which is minus 3x to the negative fourth times the derivative of the second one, which is e to the 7x times 7, plus the derivative of the first one, which is 12x to the negative fifth 
times the second one, which is e to the 7x. Okay, so let's clean these up. So that will give us 49x to the negative third e to the 7x. And these two, we've got minus 21x to the negative fourth e to the 7x. And this one, we've got minus 21 x to the negative 4 e to the 7 x plus 12 x to the negative fifth e to the 7 x okay now notice that these two match so that'll give us 49 x to the negative third e to the 7 x minus 42 x to the negative fourth e to the 7 x plus the 12 x to the negative fifth e to the 7 x and my last step I'm going to factor out a x to the negative third e to the 7 x out of my terms which will give me 49 minus 42 x plus 12 x squared and we can always drop the x to the bottom so that would be equal to e to the 7x times 49 minus 42x plus 12x squared all over x to the third power and we now have our double derivative. In example 2 given the f of x is equal to the natural log of 3 minus 5x find the double derivative. So the first derivative is going to be equal to 1 over 3 minus 5x times the derivative of the inside which is 5. Clean it up a little bit that'll be 5 over 3 minus 5x. So that was easy enough to start off with. And then f double prime of x we're going to take the derivative of this using u prime v minus uv prime all over v squared. So this will be the derivative of the u which is 0 times v which is 3 minus 5x minus u which is 5 times the derivative of v which is negative 5 all over 3 minus 5x quantity squared. So that would be 0 plus 25 over 3 minus 5x quantity squared which is 25 over 3 minus 5x quantity squared and we have the derivative.